70 years ago, she was kicked out of her house for loving a black man. They are still together today. Hello, friends. People of different faiths, social classes, and nationalities obey love. Today's story will be a vivid example that different skin color is no barrier to a timeless and beautiful feeling. In 2018, Jake and Mary Jacobs, who live in the town of Solihull, just south of Birmingham, celebrated 70 years of life together. Many obstacles had to be overcome to reach this milestone, and those obstacles arose because Mary was white and Jake was black. The young people got married in 1948, and at that time in Great Britain, marriage between people of different races was considered unacceptable. But how did it happen that these two ended up together? And what was it like to be in a mixed-race relationship in the 1940s and 50s? Jake and Mary attended the same college. That's where they met and Jake was able to impress Mary with his knowledge of Shakespeare from the first day they met. The young people saw each other quite often. They were interested in spending time together. And one day, Jake and his friend invited Mary and her friend for a country walk. A friendly company, chatting excitedly about something, was spotted by a woman riding her bicycle nearby. It turned out that the woman knew Mary's parents well and rushed to tell them that she had seen their daughter in the company of black men. Mary's father, upon hearing the news, was incredibly shocked and forbade his daughter to see Jake. When Jake left for his native island of Trinidad, the young people kept up a lively correspondence. Several years passed, and the young man returned to the UK to find a better-paying job. Having met after a long separation, the young people did not lose interest in each other. On the contrary, they were much more than just friends. So, Jake proposed to Mary. She agreed, but when the 19-year-old girl informed her parents that she was going to tie her life to a dark-skinned guy, her father said, if you marry him, you will never enter this house again. Mary was not afraid of her father's threats to kick her out of the house. She loved Jake very much and stayed with him. How surprised Mary was when she realized that the rest of society thought the same way as her family. The first few years of marriage were especially difficult for the young couple. They were living in Birmingham at the time, and even just walking the city streets was hard for them. Many people were literally pointing fingers at the couple. No one spoke to Mary and Jake, they had almost no money, and they ate very poorly. It took the couple a long time to find an apartment because no one wanted to rent to a black man. When Mary became pregnant, the couple anxiously awaited the addition to their family. But at eight months, the woman gave birth to a dead baby. This tragedy broke her heart so much that she did not dare to get pregnant again, and unfortunately, they never had children. As time passed, society began to be more tolerant of mixed marriages, and the Jacobs' lives gradually got better and easier. Mary became a teacher and even managed to make a career. She rose to the position of vice principal. Jake got a job at the post office. They made new friends. Still, Mary always felt the need to explain to people that her husband was black before introducing them to him. Jake recalls with reluctance how life was in Britain in the 1940s. In his opinion, today's black youth living in this country have no idea how hard it was then. Jake says that when he first came to Britain, he was insulted almost daily. He recalls riding on a bus one day, and some man rubbed his neck with his hands and then said, I wanted to see if the dirt would come off. According to Jake, black men at the time could not get jobs in the office because it was considered unsafe for white girls to work alongside black men. In 2018, 84-year-old Mary and 89-year-old Jake celebrated their 70th wedding anniversary. Despite all the difficulties and hardships, they still love each other very much and do not regret at all that they met and began to live together. It's not for nothing they say that true love can conquer everything and gives you the inspiration to live no matter what. Do you agree? That's all, friends. Share this story, write comments, and like it. See you soon!